Welcome back to Beaumont's Home Kitchen. Uh, today we will be making some awesome lemon meringue pie. Let's start with our lemon curd. Three large eggs into a bowl. The zest of one lemon. Half a cup of fresh lemon juice. About three lemons into the bowl. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. We are going to turn on our double boiler easier so the eggs won't scramble. Even temperature. Mix our eggs until they become somewhat shiny. That was mixing for about a couple minutes. Just a pinch of salt. Mix, mix, mix. That should be good for the way for water to boil. Four tablespoons of diced butter or 56 grams. We're going to add the butter once everything gets hot. Pots look good. We'll toss them onto the pot quick. This video has voiceover. I forgot to turn the sound on. Oops. And we're going to continue while stir so the curd becomes thick. Roughly about 5 to 6 minutes. Make sure you do a continual stir. If you think it's getting too hot, take it off the heat. Back onto the heat, stir, stir, stir. Now we're going to add our 4 tablespoons of diced butter, or 56 grams. Let it melt, stir, stir, stir. So it's starting to become thick. You always want to continue to stir it becomes thicker. It's becoming nicely thick. We're going to preheat the oven 375 for a pie shell. The best way to cool the curd down is in an iced water bath or a cold water bath. You can also cool in the fridge for about an hour. You don't want it to set too much because you still want to get into the, the pie shell. Take a fork and pour a few holes into the pie shell before you bake it. If you stir, it'll cool down quicker. And don't be afraid to make lemon meringue pie. It's actually quite easy. It's not too hard. I'll show you each step. Very important to wash your bowl with warm soapy water for the meringue. Let's taste the lemon curd mmm yummy good time to toss our pie shell in for 12 to 15 minutes till nicely golden brown four large eggs four large egg whites or 132 grams they got five just in case but i'm thinking four kitchen hack you want to get room temperature eggs that you just pulled out of the fridge give them give them a warm bath for five minutes then they will become room temperature eggs very simple quickest way to get room temperature eggs without leaving at room temperature for 30 minutes to an hour so little hack for everyone there slowly separate some eggs be careful not to get any yolks in there whites in there so 132 grams of whites what do we got Ooh, it's close okay one more egg figured i might need another one <laughs> okay that ain't gonna work i broke one oh, it's the first time i broke on a yolk in Beaumont's kitchen it's not bad odds promise i had to kill this one all right that one didn't break. Yay! 132 grams. 132 grams of egg whites into the mixer. Half a teaspoon of cream or tartar. Just to stabilize the eggs as so they do what they're supposed to do. A thermometer. Turn the fire on. 113 grams of water into the pot. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Just stir a little bit till the sugar dissolves in bits. So once the sugar heats up, it'll dissolve. And then, so roughly when the temperature hits about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, turn on our mixer. It's getting up there. It's close. I'm gonna wait until we get our eggs nice and frothy here. Pretty much when the sugar hits 200, you turn your mixer on. Oh, sorry, we're looking at 240. All right, the sugar hits 240. Okay. Oh yeah, eggs are looking pretty frothy. Perfect. Make sure that sugar's hot. Okay. Slowly add the sugar. You don't want hot sugar everywhere. Mm -mm, not good. Pretty much what you want to do is whip the eggs until they become room temperature. So it takes, I don't know, 10 or eight to 10 minutes. The pie shell. Whip it for quite a bit there. Our lemon curd is cooled off, so I'll toss our lemon curd into pie shell. Pie shell is cold too. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Not too bad. Oh, perfect time to add some pure vanilla extract. A little bit of that in there. Not a crazy amount, but nice break. See, it sits on like that. Mm hmm. That is like perfect. Meringue onto the pie, like so. Mm-hmm. All I have to say is, if Beaumont can make a lemon meringue pie, anyone can. Yep. Not hard, just, uh, you know, a little bit of technique, but not really. It's, it's, you follow the steps, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. 
fun part. Trying to make little designs on the top. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Finally, Beaumont's Kitchen has a lemon meringue pie. Invest in a torch. Burn the fun part, okay. See, lemon meringue pie. All I'm gonna do is uh, chill this down just a touch more and then we'll dig in. Mm -hmm. Just gonna do one little thing add a little oomph to it. Zest on top. <clears throat> I'm thinking, I don't know, chill this for about an hour. Dig into some lovely lemon meringue pie. Give the meringue a taste. Mm. Let's give our lemon meringue pie a try. Let's give our lemon meringue pie a try. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. Lemon meringue pie. Mmm. Lemon meringue pie. Thanks for watching Beaumont's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Love you. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.